Hey there, how are all of our beautiful Leos out there in the world? Welcome Leo to your August tarot reading. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. I'm excited to connect with our Leo soul family members. You may be new to the channel and if so, welcome. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. I hope you enjoy my energy and my style of tarot reading. And you may be a returning subscriber coming back. Right? And if so, welcome back. It's great to connect with all of you. Uh, Leo. I'm going to do a tarot spread for you today. I feel like you're going to have a beautiful and a fantastic tarot reading. But before we get into your tarot reading, I want to go over your astrological forecast. Where we just look at the month of August, just days away, and we see which planets are moving into which specific houses impacting Leo's energy. So Leo, I need to begin by wishing all of you a happy birthday right now. Uh, I have a favorite Leo in my life. It's my grandson. His birthday was on July the 24th. Uh, beautiful Leo. So I love the Leo energies. Uh, whether your sun sign is Leo, your moon or rising sign may be Leo. You may have Leo in your Venus. Some of you may be here checking up on a Leo. Others of you may just be intuitively guided to be here. Just trust the energies that brought you here. So Leo, let's get into your astrological forecast. I need to ask a favor. Keep in mind, I'm not an astrologer. I'm a tarot reader. So I learn from the professional astrologers, and I'm just taking a lot of what I've learned, and I'm passing it on with, to you. And I feel like this is just great information for a tarot reading, right? Because I feel like the astrological forecast, it gives you kind of a big picture look energetically of what's taking place. It's like they're just planetary energies. So I feel like if you have an idea of what the energies are like in the month that you're stepping into, you're better prepared, right? You're better prepared stepping into that month because look, the truth is at the end of the day, there are optimum times to do certain things, right? And then there are less optimum times to do things. And so we follow these planetary energies to kind of help us out, right? Get some planetary help when it's there and why go and resist energies of the planet if there's gonna be resistance there. So Leo, let's get into it. Um, Happy, happy birthday to all of our beautiful Leos out there. So the sun is shining on you. You're in the spotlight, all right? And this is taking place because it's your birthday right now. Uh, this is a perfect time to sit back and to evaluate this last year that we just completed. What did you experience? What did you learn? What do you want this year to look like, right? Who do you want to be? What kind of energies do you want to experience, right? So this is a perfect time, Leo, to be able to redefine yourself. Right? I mean, look, it may be a makeover. Um, it may be a new hairstyle, maybe a new wardrobe. Maybe I'm just picking up on some new hobbies, right? And some new interests. It's like, I've never been into mountain climbing, but I've always been interested in mountain climbing. So maybe this year is your year, right? To get into mountain climbing or hiking, or maybe it's boating, whatever it is. So Mars is in your second house of finances all month throughout the month of August. So this is a good time to put energies into your finances. Beautiful time to write a new budget for yourself, right? It's like, I'm just gonna organize my money. I wanna, I wanna find out like where my money is going. These energies serve you well. You're getting some planetary help here. So this is why I'm encouraging you. Uh, do you have old items, some of you, that maybe you would like to sell and get rid of? So this is a great time to invest energies into your savings account, right? Maybe you don't have a savings account, so think about maybe creating a savings account. A beautiful time to invest energies in your new career or job. Uh, if you have any great creative ideas you'd like to launch, this is a beautiful time in the month of August to launch your ideas. So Leo, on the 8th of August, you have a new moon happening in your first house. So these energies bring you new beginnings and new possibilities. This is a time to not close doors, but to keep keep your doors open, right? And what I mean by that is like, I'm keeping myself open to all kinds of different ideas, right? I'm gonna consider everything. I'm not gonna rule anything out. It's like, as opposed to closed energy, it's like new ideas come around, I'm closed, it's like I'm not even interested. Keep yourself open and interested. Explore different ideas. What is it that you're looking for? What is it that you would like to create? Stay open, and more importantly than staying open, and this is great for you, Leo, is stay childlike. It's just an energy that serves you very, very well. It's like you're just feeling like, kid, I'm just going after the things that I love, the things that I'm passionate about in life. 
Leo, on the 12th of August, you have the planet Mercury moving into your second house of finances. Some of you may learn something important, which will help boost your finances. It could be about an investment, business opportunity, or an idea that has amazing potential to help take your finances to a whole new level. On the 17th of August, you have the planet Venus, the planet of attraction and love, moving into your third house of communications and ideas and thinking. So Venus encourages you to learn and study something that you love, right? Or if you've already if you already have something you've learned and studied that you love, it's like, now I want to take this and I want to share this, right? Third house energy, sharing, communicating with others. This is also a great time to get together with friends and associates, associates and share different ideas. It's like, look, if you're Leo and you're in the energy of working, of looking for a job, you know, it's like put yourself out there. It's like, yeah, when I'm out and about and I'm intermingling with, with people, I'm gonna let them know that I'm looking for work and I'm gonna, you know, let them know like what areas of interest, you know, really resonate with you because you never know who you're gonna come across and how that idea may just plant a seed. And what, what is that seed that you planted? What is it going to bring you? So again, August is all about keeping yourselves open. Okay, Leo, on the 22nd, you have a full moon happening in your seventh house of relationships. Okay, so this is a beautiful time for new friendships. It's like when the new moon, that's when we plant the seeds. And when the full moon comes out, for many of us, that's when the seeds that we planted during the new moon, this is when they get birthed, right? So what are you going to be birthing in terms of relationships, right? It may be a, this is a beautiful time for new relationships and new love for some of you. Some of you may have a full moon birthing you a brand new job. Uh, this is a great time for some of you to fall in love and to deepen the love in the relationships that you have. On the 23rd of August, you have the sun joining the party in your second house. So the sun comes in and it shines a light on your finances. So for some of you, this is where you the sun may bring you that boost, right? You may experience this little boost or increase to your finances at this time. And then on the 31st, you have Venus, the planet again of attraction and love, joining Mercury, moving into your third house of communications, right? So I'm communicating, right? those that I love. This is a great time to reach out, reconnect, you know, with maybe friends of the past that you've just lost touch with. It happens, you know, we all get kind of busy in life, busy with our families. So, you know, think about the people that you love in life and like, who do I want to reach out? Who do I want to connect with? All right, Leo, there's your astrological forecast. I'm ready to get into your tarot reading now. I'm just going to hit pause for just a moment. Hey there, Leo. Okay, let's get into your tarot reading now. Today is... Monday, July the 26th. Uh, time on my end is about 12.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So Leo, for your tarot spread today, I'm going to do the Celtic Cross tarot spread. I really enjoy this tarot spread. I feel like it does a great job of pointing out the energies, talking about past, present, and future energies here. Uh, I'm going to use my Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck by John Holland for the first two energies. Then I'm going to use my Crystal Vision Tarot Set as the clarifiers, along with the Universal Tarot. Uh, but before we do that, let's pull an affirmation card for you, and let's see which affirmation your guides feel would be best suited for Leo to hear, taking us into your tarot reading today. Okay. Wow. Beautiful energy for you, Leo. What a fantastic affirmation. It's destined for Leo. It says, my fearless freedom lights up the world. Right? So... Leo, keep in mind, you're represented by the energy of the sun, right? What is it that the sun does, right? It shines, it's light, it lights up the world. So talking about you and your energy, talking about your fearless freedom, lighting up the world. Wow, beautiful affirmation to take us into your tarot reading today. Let's pull two energies from Psychic Tarot of the Heart Deck by John Holland. This first energy is gonna come through as present energy for the month of August. It may represent present energy for some of you right now. Keep in mind, we're all on a different time frame. We're all on a different schedule. So for some of you, some of these energies may be hitting right now or at the beginning of the month. And for other Leos, right, these energies are probably going to hit you a little further into the month. So, wow. 
beautiful affirmation or beautiful energy taking us into your tarot reading. So present energy, the matter at hand. Leo, you're in some beautiful energy right here in the energy of having all of your dreams come true. This is equivalent to nine of cups energy. You know, and it's interesting, you see these hands right here. And here you see this little orbit of, of energy right here. Some of you may, may do some kind of work with your hands, you know, and maybe you've been doing this work with your hands, taking you towards being able to create and manifest all of your dreams coming true, which is really just fantastic for you, Leo, right? And a little icing on the cake, it's the number nine, which is the most, the strongest number of all the numbers. Number behind manifestation. So, and it may be just this energy that you're in right now where you're just, Leo, you're in this energy of just feeling your freedom, right? And it's like that freedom energy has caused you to feel fearless. It's almost like some of you may be exchanging the energy of fear for the energy of fascination. I feel like that's the case. Let's pull a second energy for you. And this is going to come through as the challenging energy for Leo in the month of August. Challenge for you, Leo, is choices, right? Choosing my battles right here. Seven of Wands energy. Just looking at this figure. And he's standing looking at these other head figures, right? And they're big head figures. So he's looking at choices. And it looks like he's looking at some pretty big choices right here. So, Leo, the challenge for you in the month of August is... You know, moving towards the energy of manifesting all of your dreams coming true, but it's like, wow, I've got some choices to make in front of me. And, you know, some big choices here. Let's pull some clarifying energies on these two energies and find out a little bit more. Switching over to the Crystal Vision tarot set. Let's clarify dreams coming true. Please clarify dreams coming true for Leo. Another exclamation point for you, star card just showed up. So some of you, this is representing the energy of Aquarius. For those, those Leos that may be attached or connected to an Aquarius in your life. But this is a beautiful energy, right? What, what energy is it representing? I'm manifesting and creating all of my dreams, all of my hopes, all of my wishes coming true, right? And you're very, very balanced in this energy right here. You know, she's pouring a cup of water into the water and she's pouring the other cup of water into the land right here. So very balanced energies, Stand underneath, standing underneath eight stars. No coincidence for that, right? Eight as above, so below. So, wow, dreams coming true on top of dreams coming true. Leo, let's clarify the star card. Please clarify the star card for Leo. Knight of Swords coming in attached to the star card. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy in this energy right here. Uh, I feel like it's the Knight of Swords energy that's bringing in a truth, right? So Leo, you have a truth coming into you, right? And you're maybe aware of this energy right now. Some type of truth coming in that's taking you towards manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. I feel like you've got something good coming and headed your way. And this is your truth. So you're in some really good energy where you're feeling fantastic right now. Let's move down to choose your battles. Please clarify, choose your battles for Leo. Okay, we have the moon energy that came out. So Pisces just showed up for those of you that are connected to a Pisces. So attached to this, you have the four of wands representing the energy of marriage. For some of you, right? So some of you may be in the energies where I'm trying to choose. I'm trying to decide, should I commit, right? However, the moon energy is coming in attached to this energy. So we're talking about you know, the energy of commitment right here. And you're in the energy of, I'm trying to choose. I'm trying to make a choice, right? I'm trying to choose which direction I'm going to go in making this commitment. And I understand why it's a little bit difficult because you have the moon energy attached to it, right? So... As it pertains to like choosing your battles right here, right? There's something in terms of your choices that you're, it's like you're having to feel like you're, you're out at night as opposed to being out in the daytime where the sun is out and I can see everything clearly. You're out at night and you're moving around 
feeling your way around with the light of the moon to illuminate your way. So you can't see things nearly as clearly. So something about a commitment right here attached to the moon card um, that you're just not seeing right now at the moment. And that could be why you're in this energy of choosing your battles. It's like, ah, I need to be able to see enough before I make a choice. Let's move down to focus on energy. Please clarify, focus on energy for Leo, please. Focus on energy for Leo, please. Okay. I need to be focused on the choices in my life. So another seven coming in right here. Seven of cups this time. Notice she's flying around on this dragon, right? So she's in the air right now, probably having a great time. And she's being offered, and you are having a great time because you're in some great energy. I mean, you're in the energy of feeling your freedom right here. And look, look at her in this, flying around on this dragon in the energy of feeling her freedom. And she's being offered all of these cups, right? So I have all these different choices that are coming in. There's one cup that has a rainbow coming out of it. It's down on the ground. I feel like that's your choice. That's the optimum choice right there. Yeah, and with the rainbow coming out, it's saying that look, the rainbow represents your true colors, right? So this specific choice is the optimum choice because it's the choice that's resonating the strongest with you, your energies, your hopes, your wants, your wishes, your dreams. Attached to the Seven of Cups, you have the World card. So I feel like it's this choice with the rainbow coming out of it that is the superior choice that has the ability to be able to change your world, right? So what am I saying in, in saying that? So Leo, for those of you that are resonating with this reading, right? You choose wisely and you, ma you make this good choice and you have the potential in this choice to be able to change your world. And what that means is like, because I made this choice, I'm so grateful and I'm so glad that I made it because I feel like it's, it's impacted every area in my life in a way that I feel like maybe I just stepped out of one dimension and I stepped into an entirely different dimension. It's a higher vibrating dimension. All right, Leo, let's move over to the past. Please clarify past for Leo. Okay, so energies that are coming in connected to your past, right? In the past, you had the four pentacles energy. So look at the figure in this card. She's in this tree and she is clinging to these pentacles, right? It's almost like the pentacles own her. Past energy right here. So. In this energy, you're not feeling your freedom right here, right? Because these pinnacles are kind of stripping you from your freedom. It's representing the energy of the must-haves in life. It's like, I can't, I can't risk not having this energy here. Uh, and then coming in attached to that, you have the King of Swords energy, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is somebody who's a thinker, uh, a pretty determined kind of energy. I mean, the King of Swords energy, he, experiences life, right? And he pays attention to his life experience and he takes those lessons that he learns from his experiences and those lessons become his truth, right? So with King of Swords energy coming in, you came to this awareness, right? It was your truth that I'm hanging on to something too tightly. Uh, and, you know, with it coming in as your truth, I feel like many of you have embraced this energy already and you've found your freedom right here your fearless freedom, lighting up the world ahead of you. All right, Leo, let's, uh, let me plug in. Okay, let's move over to strengths. Tell us about strengths for Leo, please. Strengths for Leo. Okay, we've got two twos coming in. And Leo, you have a lot of second house energy, right? In fact, astrologically, first, second, and third house energy taking place for you all throughout the month of August. So here's some second house energy, two of pentacles. I'm in the energy of finding my balance. Um, feeling very balanced here, right? And I feel like it's this balanced energy. It's coming in as your strength. Also coming in as your strength is the Two of Cups. So soulmate type energies right here. So Leo, at the end of the day, 
do you have a soulmate in your life? I kind of think you may. Um, it, you may not be aware of it. Some of you may not be aware of this soulmate quite yet, right? But this person is coming in as your strength. And keep in mind, what I want to point out right here, right, is you could be in a relationship, right? Married, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. They could be your soulmate, right? But you could be in a relationship and you could have another relationship that's a soulmate relationship, a beautiful friendship. So keep those energies in mind. Leo, let's move over to the future, right? Moving from the past to the future here. Tell us about the future energies with Leo. Future energies for Leo, please. Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. So I feel like you made a, a beautiful transition right here because in the past, you weren't in the energy of giving and receiving. You're in the Four of Pentacles energy where I'm, I'm clinging to things, right? I'm hanging on to things in a way that's maybe holding you captive in some way. So King of Swords attached to that. It brought in this truth to you, right? So you, can, you came into this awareness of this. So now that I have that awareness, I can shift the energies, right? And I'm shifting the energies into the Six of Pentacles where I'm giving and receiving in a very fair and a very balanced way. I'm not clinging to any pentacles right here. It's like I freed myself from these pentacles and now I'm in the energy of giving, giving to others. Maybe in the energy of giving to yourself as well. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. Please clarify the Six of Pentacles for Leo. Six of Pentacles energies for Leo, please. Three of Swords coming in attached to the Six of Pentacles. So Three of Swords, it's a limiting energy, representing the energy of sadness, grief, you know, heartbreak. Uh, coming in to clarify, right? Four of Pentacles energy connected to the past. I'm in the energy where I'm hanging on to something too tightly in my life. Um, sadness, grief coming in, maybe after I've freed myself from this energy. I mean, look, what was I hanging on to? too tightly in life. I could have been hanging on to a person too tightly in life, right? And that's why the Three of Swords energy could have came up, representing the energy of sadness and grief, right? So some of you may have freed yourself from these energies right here. And in the process, it may be brought you this energy or it could have brought somebody else this energy. But I feel like it was important it happened because it shifted you and put you into a much better energy right here in the Six of Pentacles. You know, it's like I'm, I'm taking on the energy of some sadness and some grief, right? Maybe it humbles you in some ways. And it's like, I'm just going to give now, right? I'm just going to give. I'm, I'm tired of hanging on to things too tightly. This is a very open energy. I'm open to receive in this energy. All right, Leo, let's move down to suggested approach. Please clarify suggested approach for Leo. Okay, we've got three energies coming in. What's being suggested to you, Leo? The universe wants to make you aware of changes. Changes that are spinning into your life with the Wheel of Fortune energy here. The spinning wheel of the Zodiac, right? It spins off changes. You need to be aware of these changes. Attached to the changes, you have the Lover's card. So Gemini wanted to show up. And I need to emphasize to you, Leo, you have some seventh house energy taking place for you this month. You know, and the seventh house is all about relationships in our life. And here's some seventh house energy coming to you as the lover's card, Gemini energy. So some of you, right, soulmate energies here, changes that are coming into your life. You may have a soulmate coming into your life right here. And this soulmate may in fact be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energies, Queen of Pentacles right here. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is somebody who has lived some life experience, right? She went through the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows of life. 
but the Queen of Pentacles is very wise energy. It's like, yeah, I go through life experiences and I go through the good times and bad times, but I'm not, she's wise enough that she's not gonna take those limiting energies with her, right? And I feel like she's not gonna take this energy with her. She's wise enough to take this energy with her of the Six of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles energy coming in attached to the Lover's card. You know, experience. And I feel like we're emphasizing experience about this connection and this relationship. It's almost like maybe the both of you have a lot of experience in relationships. You may even have experience being together as well. Uh, and again, this person may be an earth sign. All right, Leo, what it is you need to know. Please tell us what Leo needs to know, please. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know, please? Too many energies there. Tell us what Leo needs to know, please. Two of Swords wanted to come out, right? I need to know I need to make a choice. Notice, I need to make a choice, but I'm wearing a blindfold over my eyes. Should I go left or should I go right? I can't really see in order to make this choice. Choose your battles, right? This is the challenging energy for you. Right? And there's some confusion with the choices because you have the moon card coming in attached to commitment. Um, let's clarify the Two of Swords energy. Please clarify the Two of Swords for Leo. Please clarify the Two of Swords for Leo. Please clarify the Two of Swords for Leo. Okay, so coming in attached to the Two of Swords, now the King of Pentacles energy showed up. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So Leo, I feel like some of you are connected to an Earth sign in your life. Maybe a lover, maybe a best friend, maybe your boss, your employer at work. Uh, but I need to make a choice. And I'm making a choice. I want to choose wisely. I want to make the choice that's going to bring you the most stability, the most security in your life. That's why the King of Pentacles energy is coming in attached here, right? And keep in mind, Leo, we have the Two of Cups here and we also have the Lover's card. And then we have the King and Queen of Pentacles, right? So we do have a relationship here for some of you. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears for Leo, please. Okay, coming in, clarifying hopes and fears. Here you have the Three of Cups, representing the energy of friendships, celebrations. Coming in is your hope. Attached to the Three of Cups, you have the Unknown card here, right? So some of you may be in the energy of making a new friend right here, right, with this Three of Cups energy. Uh, it could be a new friend from this Two of Cups energy and also the Lover's card. It's a little bit of a mystery right here. She's staring into the crystal ball trying to see what the future looks like, but she can't see. The crystal ball is a little bit clouded. That's why this moon energy is coming in, right? So, and then attached to the unknown card, you have Sagittarius energy coming in. I'm trusting in the divine in this energy, right? And this is your hope. It's like, I'm just following feeling. I'm trying to make a choice. I'm trying to make a decision, but the crystal ball is clouded. I have a blindfold over my eyes. Uh, I'm trusting the divine trusting in divine timing right here and what i'm trusting in is friendships cause for celebration right here so even though i'm trying to see the celebration right now i can't quite see it but i can feel those energies within you 
And that could be why temperance is coming in, right? You're very balanced in this energy. And keep in mind, here's the rainbow showing up again for you. She pours a cup of water onto a cup of fire. It should just put the fire right out. But because it's divinely timed, it creates this beautiful rainbow right here. And here she is surrounded by butterflies, representing new births. All right, Leo, it's getting good. Let's move up to potential future for you. Please clarify the potential future for Leo. Page of Cups coming in. This is an offer, yeah, an offer of love. It may be romantic love. It may be an offer coming into you. It may be you sending out this offer to somebody else. Let's clarify the Page of Cups. Please clarify the Page of Cups. Please clarify the Page of Cups for Leo. Okay, seventh house energy again. Seventh house is the house of relationships here. <clears throat> and I've seen a lot of relationship energies here in your tarot reading, Leo. So here's another seven coming in for you. Seven of swords right here. It's like, okay, he's bending down to pick up these two swords, right? Two of swords. I need to make a choice. I need to make a decision right here. So I may be in the energy of making a choice and making a decision regarding love. But then I have these other five swords that are flying around over my head. It's like, I don't know which direction to go in this energy, but I know that I need to make a choice. Uh, coming in attached to the Page of Cups. So making a choice regarding an offer. It could be a job offer. It could be a friendship offer. It could be a relationship offer. Let's clarify. Please tell us more about the potential future for Leo. Six of Cups wanted, wanted to come out. So representing the energy of somebody from your past, possibly somebody from your past coming back again. Um, it could be a person. It doesn't have to be. I feel like for a lot of you, it is a person, right? It's maybe a person that's connected to this Two of Cups uh, and this Lover's card right here. And for other Leo energies, right? This may represent the energy of a job from the past. Um, you know, and needing to make a choice, needing needing to make a decision. Maybe I'm either making a choice or decision regarding a job that I've had in the past or making a choice and decision regarding type of work, a similar work that I've done in the past. Um, and for others, making a, I have somebody from my past coming back, maybe coming back, bringing in an offer of love. And it's like, I don't know what to do, right? It's like, I'm torn. I need, I, I've got a choice to make. Let's clarify the Six of Cups. Please clarify the Six of Cups for Leo. Two energies coming in to clarify the Six of Cups, Nine of Cups. So this energy, right, from person in the past possibly coming back, wish fulfillment coming in right here. Right? Present energies, this is the second time the Nine of Cups has come in for you. Representing the energy of all your dreams coming true. Here are your dreams coming true. Yours, Leo, right? But it doesn't just end at you because we go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So dreams coming true, not only for you, but dreams coming true for your family. This is everybody in the home, right? Everybody that, that, that you live with, right? Feeling the love, feeling the bliss, the abundance right here. So yeah, wish fulfillment, your wishes becoming fulfilled. And because your wishes are becoming fulfilled, it's fulfilling the wishes of everybody else within your home as well. Wow, Leo, you have a fantastic tarot reading here. It's like, this is, it's beautiful. I hope these energies resonate with each and every one of you. Uh, I think I'm done with this portion of your tarot reading. I am going to do an extended tarot reading. So for those of you that are resonating with these energies, if you want to follow me over to Vimeo, and you can do so by clicking on the link found in the description box just below this tarot reading, I'll pick up where we left off here and I want to go through and I want to clarify some of these energies. Uh, energies that I want to clarify in the extended tarot reading. I want to clarify the star card, Aquarius's energy. Let's find out a little bit more about this. 
coming in attached to dreams coming true. And then let's clarify, choose your battles. I've got some big choices to make. I may, may be choosing love. I may be choosing partners. I may be making a choice regarding a job as well. Um, let's clarify the moon card as well as choose your battles. And then we will also want to clarify four of wands, marriage or the commitment. And then Leo, let's move over and let's clarify the world card. Beautiful energy coming in attached to the seven of cups. And then let's clarify the two of cups. Soulmate energies right here coming in as your strength attached to the two of pentacles. And then we want to clarify Gemini's energy coming in as the lover's card. Uh, and then we want to clarify Temperance, Sagittarius's energy. And then it's coming in attached to the unknown card, right? Let's clarify the unknown card because it's unknown. Why not? Let's see if we can maybe get a peek of what's inside of that crystal ball. And then Leo, I want to clarify the Six of Cups representing the energy for some of somebody from your past coming back, possibly coming back, bringing you an offer of love, or you may put a, be putting out the offer to them and they may be coming back at this point. And for others, uh, it's representing the energy of maybe going back to a job that you've done before or a similar field of work, similar experiences that you've worked on in the past. These are energies that serve you very well. So it's like, yeah, if I'm Leo and I'm listening to this reading, I'm, I'm not in love, but I'm looking for a job. I'm going to resonate with this energy. It's like, I'm going to take the experiences that I have in the past. Universe is saying those experiences serve you well and take you towards your, you know, manifesting your hopes, your dreams, and inevitably impacting your family as well. Finances. Okay, Leo. And then I want to pull an energy from a tarot set called the Good Tarot. And I want to build upon this next chapter in your life. Uh, so I'm going to pull some clarifications on those energies and let's just see what comes out and let's see what the next chapter in your life looks like. Okay, Leo, you guys are great. Love Leo energy, love the energy of the sun. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you for the love and the support that you guys provide me. Thanks for being here. I look forward to having all of you. Follow me over to Vimeo for the extended tarot reading. I'm excited to get into it, so I'll see you guys over there. Thanks for being here. Have a beautiful day.